How do you calculate the numbers for a rental property? I'm Kevin with the Kavanaugh Group. So real estate investments can be a great way to earn passive income, but you need to be careful. So not all rentals are created the same, so you need to be able to identify which ones make sense financially. That can change based on various factors, but the main way to determine if an investment will be a good one is to run the numbers. So number one, the first thing you need to do, figure out how much your rental income, operating expenses, and mortgage payment would be. The trickier part of this is determining your expenses. Of course, it's always possible for unexpected things to pop up, but here are a list of some common expenses. Accounting for vacancy, fees of a property management company if you choose to use one, leasing fees, repairs, insurance, taxes, utilities, etc. Number two, this is where the math comes in. I recommend you calculate what your net operating income and your cash flow would be. So for the first equation, simply subtract your expenses from your rental income. That's your net income. Then take that number, deduct your mortgage payment, and that leaves your cash flow. Number three, if those two don't end in a positive number, you need to run away. That property is not the right investment. This topic obviously entails a lot of subjective and confusing things. So I recommend getting advice from an expert and we would love to help you. So if you have any questions about investment properties, buying, selling, if you'd like to know how much your home is worth in this market, or if you're considering buying a property in 2023, reach out. We'd love to help. And we'll see you on the next one.